What's up, fam? I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You are on my show. I run every Tuesday for you right here on Team Flex TV. It's called The Iron Palace. And on The Iron Palace, we talk about everything training, all different types of goals, all different types of people. We're going to tell you how to train to get the results you want to get. Today, I'm following up with yesterday. We did the beach body, the summer body kind of diet on protein power. Today, I'm going to tell you how to train to get yourself lean, shredded, jacked up wherever you want to be for this summer so you can rock your swimsuit at the beach, do whatever, you know, hang out, whatever, feel good about where you're at. I'm going to tell you how to train for that exactly today, all right? Do me a favor, fam. Subscribe to this channel. It's just one of five shows I run all week for you guys, all right? It's all week, every week, new stuff, content, free. Subscribe and then share. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You are on the Iron Palace. So like I said, we're following up with yesterday. I gave you guys the diet to get that summer body, get that beach body, get lean. We talked about calorie deficits. We talked about all that. If you haven't seen episode uh, Protein Power, whatever, 37 yesterday, okay, go there and check that out because that's going to combine well with this video. Like I said, I want to talk about your training today though, okay? And the reason we're on this topic, if you're just jumping on this video for the first time here, is because people ask me every time right around this year, June, July, you know, hey, what can I do to get my summer body on? I want to look good in my bikini. I want to look good in my swim trunks. I want to, you know, feel good when I go to the beach, do whatever, okay? And I get this question uh, hundreds of times a day, honestly, this time of year. What can I do? What's the fastest way? What are the best exercises? So I'm going to cover it all for you right here, right now. One, two, three. you guys to understand, you ladies and gents out here, understand this, there's not really time for you to build a serious amount of muscle right now. If you're trying to be ready, you know, for July, 4th of July, that's a few weeks out. If you're looking at August, whatever, you know, muscle takes time to build, okay? And it takes an opposite of what I told you guys to do yesterday, which is a, ca a caloric surplus, right? You'd have to have more calories to build muscle, which is not going to help you burn fat. Most of the time, I'll tell you guys this, straight up. People want to be lean. That's what they want the most, okay? Sometimes they want a little bit more muscle. I know you guys and you girls out there, you want to build certain things, bring certain things up. That's all fine and dandy. But you don't have a lot of time to do that right now. So what you should actually focus on if you're trying to get a beach body, you know, a summer body ready, you know, look good for your bikini, your swim trunks, whatever, you got to focus on leaning out, all right? And so if we do that with the calorie deficit I talked about on Protein Power, go watch that video if you didn't yet, okay? Then we bring in the trend training that's going to match that to get the best possible result. I'll tell you guys what, no matter what, most of the time, if you get leaner, you're going to feel really good about where you're at. I mean, a lot of times, even as you get leaner, you actually look more muscular, even though you didn't build any muscle. It's just the fact you can visibly see more of it because your body fat percentage is lower. So this stuff is real. It does happen. This is, you know, the best way to do it. So you got to get lean. So here's what you want to do. You want to make sure, number one, okay, write this down, track it, do something with it. Number one, you're lifting lifting weights, okay? This is a given. I feel like most people, if you're on my channel, you should know you should be lifting weights, all right? And I'm talking about in the fact you need to be doing a variance of weights. You need to do some heavy compounds, heavy compound training, your squats, your, you know, your uh, deadlifts, your rows, for some of your bench press, things like this, pull-ups, dips, all these types of big compound exercises. Now, a compound exercise is an exercise that involves more than one muscle group. So it's not an isolation where we do a curl or something like that. We're doing a compound movement. It takes many muscles. Think of your squat. It takes a lot of muscles. Think of your deadlift. It takes a lot of muscles when we break it down. These you want to keep in your programming and do heavy. Okay, You want to do them actually heavier. This, for one, will help you maintain your strength, help you maintain your muscle mass while you're in this kind of dieting phase, 
And also, it actually has a very good cardiovascular benefit, okay? A lot of people don't pay attention to this, but if you do a set of heavy squats, I guarantee you by the time you're done, you're sitting there huffing and puffing, all right? So you're doing these compounds, you want to do them heavy, you know, six to eight rep range is going to be good. Now, you also want to do some more uh, type of endurance type training, okay? So higher rep training, you know, you might bring in some plyometrics, you're going to bring in different stuff to keep your heart rate up. Your main goal for all your training sessions should be to keep your heart rate up. So after you do your compounds, whatever you want to do of those one, two, three compounds, then you move into endurance type training, okay? And this is where I have, you know, people bringing a lot of higher reps. We're doing a lot of supersets, okay? We're going from one exercise to the next. No rest. We don't want to rest. We want to keep that heart rate up, keep the body burning, in other words, because guess what? The end game goal, beach body, right? We want to be lean. We want to get shredded. Well, the more calories you burn during your session, the more that that's going to assist that. And keeping your heart rate up, keeping these supersets rolling, drop sets, high intensity protocols, all these things like that will dramatically help. And if I'm saying too much too fast, I'm sorry guys, it's all I got on this episode. But if you want to go to my website, teamffelex.com, you can subscribe to our free trial, okay? And you go in there, I'll show you all this. I'll program it out for you. Teamffelex.com, just put your email in, it's an instant invitation to our coaching. But let's keep covering this. So seriously, if you haven't yet, go to my website, teamffelex.com, put your email in there. That's the free trial, I'll show you that training. But if you're gonna go ahead and wing it, let me just keep telling you a little bit more, okay? So we obviously just talked about your compounds. We talked about the compounds. Gotta have those in, I want you guys having those. You know, you should be training, by the way, four or five days a week. Maybe you, you, if you got a lot of weight you wanna lose to get shredded, six days a week. You wanna be in the gym, you wanna be moving, you wanna be training. You gotta follow a program that's gonna allow this to be the best result, okay? So we got the heavy compounds, we gotta have, we wanna have those. And then we want to bring in those supersets and the high reps, you know, we're talking 12, 15 reps on exercises, back and forth, little rest. By the time your workout's over, in other words, you should be spent. There should be zero question that you worked very hard during that workout, okay? And that's going to be your level, basically, number one that you got to know is you got to train. And that's how you should set your training sessions up for the best possible result. Now, one thing people always say, hey, Where's that cardio come in, Coach Rye? What about that cardio, man? Is that going to help me? Is that going to do more? Hey, I'm going to tell you guys what. I'm going to tell you this. If you really follow the diet like I talked about yesterday on Protein Power, okay? Getting that deficit, stay there, monitor, adjust it, all that, and then you bring in this training, this type of training where you're doing heavy lifting coupled with you know high-intensity protocols, basically. Cardio, you can probably not do much of it. You can a lot of times do zero of it. Sometimes you need to bring in one or two. You know, Everybody's different. So it's not a blanket statement by any means. Some people will do cardio, some people like to do cardio, but whatever. If you train in this manner where you're doing this type of training, you're gonna get super great results um, you know, without this cardio. And a lot of times the cardio can be overdone. It can actually be a detriment to your overall progress. Your body starts fighting yet, stops trying to you know, do what you want it to do and it's not gonna get where you wanna be. So I'm gonna tell you guys this. As a general rule, when I'm coaching a client and they're on a dieting phase for even if it's competition, whatever, I'm putting them on as little cardio as I can to still get the result. A lot of times I'm not having them do cardio because if they're following their diet and they're training the right way, you're going to get 99.9% .9 of that result without cardio. However, some of you like cardio, some of you might want cardio, some of you are going to need it. It's just what happens. Everybody different. And if you're going to bring in cardio, I recommend you bring in some high intensity interval training sessions. Okay. So write that down. High intensity interval training sessions, if needed, for sure should follow just the diet and the training for a few weeks. See how things are shaping out. You're probably going to progress very fast. Don't need much cardio. However, if you're not and you, you know, you want to shake it up, maybe you like the high intensity stuff because you're sick in the head, <laughs> then go ahead and bring it in. All right. And I recommend, you know, 15, 20 minute sessions two to three times max a week and that's it throw them in after your set your weight training session throw them in at a different time you know you can do it a two a day if you want with the car 
but that's not going to be a big deal. That's all fine and dandy. Um, but basically, you know, you can throw these things in. A good interval type would be, you know, one minute high intensity, one minute low intensity. And this means you're on a machine or, you, you know, you're doing something like that where you want to crank it up for a minute and you want to take it down and keep moving, but, you know, you're recovering basically for that next interval. Run that for 15, 20 minutes, you're going to be getting really good results, okay? Again, don't overdo this. Don't do the cardio every day. Don't do high intensity and then, you know, do low intensity for an hour after or something like that. Don't do that stuff. Stick to as little as you possibly can and you're still going to get the best possible result. Now again, if you need help, go to the website. I can show you how to do this. I will teach you how to do this. I can program you for this. It's free trial. We offer it for everybody, free for the next seven days. So seriously, if you still haven't and you're still watching, you're crazy, go to this. Way easier than trying to guess everything and write everything down. I'm telling you right now, I'll just lay it out for you. Why not? TeamFFLEX.com, put your email in the box, okay? Now, hopefully I gave you guys a pretty good overview here of the things you want to hit. Now, we're talking about the training. Got to have the compounds. Got to have the high reps. And if you need the cardio, bring cardio in. What other stuff comes into this training variable that's so important and it's kind of not specifically related to training, but really it is because it is all we're ever doing in the gym or outside the gym I should say is the recovery variable. This is so important and this is often so much ignored. People will nail the diet, they'll nail you know the training and then they're sleeping two, three, four hours a night and wondering why they're not getting results. Okay, you gotta have proper rest and proper recovery if you want results ladies and gentlemen. This is for any fitness goal. More sleep will do you better. Try to shoot for eight hours a night, okay? Uh, at least eight hours. If you can get more, great. You're gonna burn more fat the more you can sleep. Hear what I just said, fam. You will burn more fat the more you can sleep. If you are training, if you are following a diet, and you are recovering properly, you're gonna get the best possible results. Let's not forget, time in the gym is tearing things down. Time in the gym, we're breaking muscle fibers, we're breaking you know different parts of the body down, so so that then we can leave and they will regrow. They're gonna recover, that's how you build muscle, that's how you end up actually burning fat. You're not doing all that just in this hour, hour and a half you're in the gym, okay? It's happening 24 hours a day. And when we assist our body best by letting it recover optimally, your body can process things, it can function in the best way. And this comes from the time that we sleep. So sleep is absolutely important. And now I know a lot of people maybe have such a hectic life, it's too hard to get that much sleep in. See if you can get naps in, okay? Even a 10, 12 minute nap, as crazy as that sounds, like what are you talking about? You, you think a 12 minute nap? Yeah, it will do a lot for you, okay? You can do a lot with that if you can squeeze that in around a training session or sometime in the afternoon, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, you guys, like I said, you will burn more fat, you will get leaner, you have a better beach physique, summer physique, summer body, if you can get more sleep, okay? So that's kind of the whole blanket. This is two videos, by the way. If you didn't see the nutrition side, you absolutely can't ignore the nutrition and get Get where you want to be. You're going to have to go watch that one, follow that along, and then you know couple it up with what I said here today in this training. And you're going to have a kick-ass package you can run that's going to get you where you want to be, all right? It's these three things. It's the, the nutrition, the training, the recovery. That's how you get this kind of awesome you know beach physique, this beach body, this summer body. And let me tell you what, that can extend far beyond summer, ladies and gents. You can enjoy the process, enjoy the foods you want to eat, like I mentioned yesterday, taught you how to do that, and you can keep this thing going. You can get that summer body and guess what? Not have to chase a summer body every damn year because you just live in one, all right? So again, do that. Couple these up. Check it out. Make sure you got all your information. If you want the easiest course, you want the fastest way to do this, go to my website, teamffelex.com and subscribe to the free trial. It is our free coaching trial. I'll show you exactly what I talked about today. Every step, everything is free for the next seven days. No reason not to do it. Just put your email in that box and I'll see you on the other side. All right? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. Seriously, thank you all. Subscribe to my channel. Share out the video. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You have watched The Iron Palace.